are we kind of extra cultured since we're doing a morning art walk on a Sunday? <laughs> of course we are. We're Chris and Melissa, midlifers on the move, living in Vancouver, British Columbia. We've been loving all the PDA here, public displays of art. So we decided to take a morning art walk. When we got out of quarantine jail, this was the first art that we saw that we had You're not seen before. You're calling it a jail? It was uh, kind of like jail. Okay, here we go, ready? Honey, it doesn't have a name. And it's kind of like the bean, we can see ourselves. So being that it doesn't have the name, it is the bean bear. That's what we'll call it. We'll call this one the bean bear, honey. That's a good name for it. Good job, huh? What does this art make you feel? It makes you feel happy. It makes, it makes you feel happy. happy? Yeah, it's such a cute... Really? It's so cute. I think it's deceiving because what have you been most afraid of? And while up in Canada, bears. That's so true. what are they trying to do? Lull her into thinking, oh, bears are cute. Oh, that is true. Okay. Well, I, I'm not afraid of these bears. Okay. Although this one, in all honesty, didn't have. Do you know what its eyes are? It looks a little bit sad. If you were encased in shiny aluminum, you'd be pretty sad too. Maybe. But did you see its claws? My goal, honey, is to see seven pieces of art that inspire us. Seven? Seven. Maybe ten. What? Maybe seven. How long of a walk are we going on? It's kind of rainy and cold out. Well, we are dedicated to showing these people the art of Vancouver. The public art of Vancouver. Second law we just broke today. Same law, second time. <laughs> Expect a lot. Get it? It's a lot. Check it out. It's a lot. <laughs> and you can expect a lot. Who comes up with this stuff? Amazing! Good job! <laughs> Who would have thought parking lot managers are so funny? <laughs> okay, our next piece of public art. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> okay, what's the deal with you guys not telling us what all this art's about? Okay, I will make my own interpretation. This is a portal to another land. Hang on, honey, it's a portal. Don't cross the portal. Melissa has gone to the other side. Make sure you try the tacos on the other side. I want to know if they taste the same. Oh, okay, oh, make sure you empty the dishwasher. Okay, let's go. Yes. No breaking the law this time. Oh, let's do it. It's Sunday morning walking. So it's legal on Sunday mornings? Well, on Sunday mornings there isn't traffic, but there's the habit of life. So you just make your own rules. You know, my whole experience in New York taught me that the lights are more suggestion lights if you're a pedestrian. <laughs> They're just suggestion lights. <laughs> not, not, not when you're driving. Okay. All right, we have our first controversy. I thought this was art. Melissa does not. See, I think it is a projector. The light thing that then sometimes lights up these. I think it's a combination of art and history. Maybe. Sure would be nice if there were a sign. It's an Come on, Vancouver. It's an artistic way to show important dates in Vancouver history is what I think. Dad? No, this. Well, yeah, of course this is art. I wasn't disputing that. See, I was talking about that. Oh, I thought you were talking about that. What? Well, that's part of it, honey. I don't know. Mm. All right, what does this piece make you feel? It makes me feel like outer space. Outer space? Like, like I'm hearing the song Rocket Man in my head. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking alien mosquito. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> what if it's for repairing parts of ships? Like, what if it's really a welding tool at the bottom? <laughs> like, that looks like plastic, but really it, like, steel things. Or it's like a, a scraper for, like, you know, when people get muscles stuck on their boats for, and stuff? For fixing ships. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's we just, have, maybe it's a functional repair thing. We have walked by this so many times, there's never been a boat under there with, like, <laughs> lights shooting out. They no, probably, 
what if all of the boats are really like alien boats? Well, I'm telling you. And so they don't. They came it from the portal. Listen to me. I'm getting excited. Listen to me. All right, all right. Like, so they don't want us to see. So at night, they use the tool. Like at, or like super early in the morning, like at two in the morning. So that if anybody does see it, they can be like, well, they must be drunk. Because the only reason they'd be out is like walking out from the bars or something. That's good logic. That's good logic. Or from a really long shift. Okay. Okay, Melissa, so is this art? Yes, I think it was intentionally placed in order to like create a sense of wonder. So I will call it art. What would you call this art? Ring of Rocks. Ring of Rocks. Nick. Here's the thing, is the Ring of Rocks is symbolic of life, uh, the seasons of life, the circle of life. It, it can make you think about, you know, deep stuff, about existential things. Okay, I'm gonna call it Rock Around. Rock around. Rock around. Rock around the clock? Yes, it makes you think about rocking all the time. <laughs> non stop. Does this art inspire you? Yes, because it also has the whole like rhythm thing. I, I do love art that incorporates words because I'm a word nerd. The moon circles the earth and the ocean responds with the rhythm of the tides. Wow. Come on. Not art, just a bench. Okay, I think I spotted some more public art. You did? Or it's some kind of new age windmill. Well, do you think that could be some sort of meteorological tool though? Maybe. It's probably to help so the boats that are coming in to get fixed don't crash <laughs> into something. We pass a circle of rocks and then a circle talking about the tides. And now there's objects that spin in a circle because of the wind that makes pulleys, which are circular in turn, that then operate a bird that eat a fish that's in flight. And yeah, it's like super circle of life money. <laughs> we just got way too deep. <laughs> We're just looking at public art. What I love about this artwork is they took something that was probably drab and really like ugly looking and they made it a really cool artistic theme about. I just think it's nice to put art wherever you can. And yeah, it probably was pretty drab and hideous. Like, you know, it's, oh, isn't that true? So whoever decided to do that, good job. Kudos to you. Kudos. Okay, so we're under a bridge. There's not gonna be any art under a bridge. Is there gonna be any art? Just trolls and dirt, but check this out. I don't know if you notice this, honey, but if you look at the very tippy top, there's a fan spinning at the top of the chandelier. I have no idea why. What does this make you feel? Sparkly. That's a place they could have put some art, don't you think? Maybe. Although maybe the view is art enough in itself. Yeah. Chris would like for me to agree with all of his Why won't you? suggestions. <laughs> You're supposed to agree with me. You're supposed to be on my side. The 217.5 arc by 13 sculpture has 13 court and steel arcs. The curved degree of each is 217.5. Honey, I call that whale bones. Is there a sign that told you that that's what it's called? No sign. You just came up with that name yourself? I just came up with it myself. I was inspired by the art. Good job. Thanks. I think that's like twin engagement is what I would call that. I would call it shining a lantern on, or shining a light on the circle of life. Because they look like they could be little lanterns and then two light circles. And so each lantern is shining a light on the circle of life. Hmm. Okay, this one has a sign hut. I do apologize if I mispronounce it. This is the Inuksha, and this ancient symbol of Inuit culture is traditionally used as a landmark and navigational aid. Ooh, it's also a symbol of friendship. 
You know, you know what I call this, though, right? What do you call it? Vancouver Stonehenge. Oh, this is the one you're always mm -hmm. talking about. This is but Vancouver like Stonehenge. This? Yeah. Why do you call it that? Because it's stones piled up on top of each other, sort of, in a different way. In than... a vastly different way. I thought it was something more circular that you were thinking. Well, it was. yeah, because Stonehenge is circular, mm -hmm. but it's also big rocks stacked on top of other rocks. Right. During a time without the means and rocks of such a way that people wonder if humans could do it. I don't really wonder whether or not humans could do that. I'm pretty confident in humans. All on right. That. You just shot down my whole naming. <laughs> This one has a sign too, Amazing Laughter. It says, may this sculpture inspire laughter and playfulness and joy in all who experience it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this one you think we covered all of the artwork in Vancouver, especially the artwork in our neighborhood. Look what happens. So there, there's so much natural beauty in this area. Mm -hmm. And then I think it's really neat. Then they put all this art everywhere and it makes it even more beautiful. I consider it double thumbs up fun. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> hey everybody, thanks so much for watching The Cremel Show. Be sure you take a moment and like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you keep up with the latest of The Cremel Show.